Welcome to these tutorials on Sibelius software. In these tutorial videos, we will be taking this piano score, Sonatina No. 16 by Bender, and orchestrating it for a number of instruments using Sibelius notation software. I will be using features included in Sibelius 7 and higher. In this video, I will be showing you how to start a new score in Sibelius. When Sibelius starts up, click on the New Score tab. Then select one of the options for instrumentation, such as concert band, choir, chamber groups, and so on. Since I don't have a standard ensemble to work with today, I'll choose blank and create my own. Click once. To add instruments to the score, click on Change Instruments. I'll start with just a piano, so I'll type piano in the search then Add to Score. At this point, I could add any other instruments by choosing the family they live in, such as a trumpet from the brass and a bass clarinet from the woodwinds. I can also remove any instruments from the score by selecting the instrument and choosing Delete from Score. Next, I'll select the time signature, which in the original is 2-4. Next is the upbeat bar, which is very important. Select the quaver and use backspace to delete any extra notes. The tempo text is Allegro, with an additional metronome marking of crotchet equals 100. Next is the key. The title tells us that it is in G minor. We can confirm this by seeing that the key signature is two flats, which makes us think of B flat major, and the relative minor of B flat major is G minor. It also has a nice tonic triad right at the beginning, and the E natural and F sharp here, which cements the G minor feel. So we'll choose minor flat keys and G minor. Now we just add the information. I'll add that I have orchestrated this piece. Click Create and the score pops up. All of the things we just specified to make this score can be changed later on, so we don't need to worry too much if we missed something or made a mistake, except for the upbeat bar. That is very difficult to change later, and so it's important to get that right when you first set up the score. For example, I can make a time signature by pressing T. Or a key signature by pressing K. Any of the text can be edited by double-clicking on it. I'll use undo to reverse all of these changes, which is Control Z. Before I go any further, I want to save this score, so that even if I make some major mess-ups, I can come back to this starting point that I know is correct. Control S or the Save button. I'll save it in my U drive. I'll also back up my project by copying this Sibelius file to my flash drive. That way, if my flash drive gets a virus, I still have the original on my U drive. And if my U drive somehow gets deleted, I have a copy on my flash drive. In the next tutorial video, we'll add notes into the score.